Welcome to Beauty Star News. This is Asha Dyer coming to you from the American Beauty Star Studio in Los Angeles, California. In this special end of year edition of Beauty Star News, we're counting down some of the top beauty news stories we reported on in 2018. Coming in at number five is an interesting story of life and death involving none other than Kim Kardashian. We reported on this back in January. Take a look. Now ladies, all of us know about the importance of a good beauty regimen, but are you as committed to yours as new mom Kim Kardashian? On a recent episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Kim stated that she added a clause to her will stating that she will always have her hair done even if she's not able to physically communicate anymore. Look, I'm not really sure what that means, but I'm so curious to know which one of her iconic looks Kim wants to pull off on her deathbed. Will Chris Appleton be pulling off that style for her? I don't know, but there are some women out there in the media world who have been weighing in on this story. Some of the hosts on the talk show, The Real, actually stated that they've already got their style team picked out for this event in their life, which I think is a little crazy, but I wanna know what you guys think. Let us know in the comments down below. Next at number four, of course, we all know and love Revlon products today, but the beauty brand has been around for years. Back in April, our host Paris Rose reported on a historical icon and her affinity for Revlon products. On June 16th, the Victoria and Albert Museum of Art and Design in London is opening an exhibition for the beloved painter called Frida Kahlo Making Herself Up. The cool thing about this exhibit is that it will feature many of her personal items, including the makeup she used on a regular basis. Turns out, Frida was a big fan of Revlon. She used their ebony eyebrow pencil to fill in her iconic monobrow, and she also loved their blush and lipstick in the shade Everything's Rosy. While the exact eyebrow pencil Frida used is no longer available, Revlon's soft black color stay pencil is a great dupe. The number three story of 2018 is for the boys. After the Academy Awards back in February, we reported on the makeup worn by one of Hollywood's leading actors. Get Out star Daniel Kaluuya rocked Fenty Beauty Foundation on the Oscars red carpet. His makeup artist Amber Amos explained to Billboard in regards to his look, the goal is to perfect the skin and make him look less tired than he is because he's doing a lot. She used a mixture of Pro Filter Foundation shades 480 and 490 to get Daniel's perfect match and we think she did a great job because he looked amazing. He's definitely one of our man crushes and we love how he is proving that makeup truly is for everyone. In at number two, back in May, we reported on an outrageous story about counterfeit makeup in the Los Angeles fashion district. According to CNN affiliate KABC, the LAPD seized over $700,000 worth of counterfeit cosmetics from 21 locations in LA's fashion district. What's more staggering than that dollar amount is what was inside the products. According to Captain Mark Reyna, the items were found to contain bacteria and human waste. Brands such as Urban Decay, NARS, MAC, and Kylie Cosmetics were included in the faux lineup. After learning that callers purchased those products in the LA Fashion District, detectives decided to look into the sketchy retailers. And boy, are we glad that they did. We are definitely glad those products were taken off the streets. And for the number one story, we're throwing it back to May of this year when we reported on an intense story involving winged eyeliner and a hospital visit. A 25-year-old woman named Shelby Pagan, who goes by at Coffee Cats and Cuss Words on Instagram, left a beauty review after one scary real-life incident. Shelby suffered a car accident last June, which left her with a few serious injuries. She was rushed to the hospital where she then took a selfie to send to her mom to tell her she was okay and to keep for police evidence. In the photo, you can see that although most of her makeup had smudged or worn off, her winged eyeliner was still in perfect shape. The product she was using that day was the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and she has now left a five-star review along with the photo on the brand site that is going viral. The testimonial states, this product is truly amazing. June 28th, I was pulled over in my car calling for roadside assistance when a distracted driver hit me going 55 miles per hour. I was taken via ambulance to the ER where I remained for eight hours. My mascara was running down my face from crying and all the other products have been wiped off in the transfer to the hospital, but not my tattoo eyeliner. I'm posting a pic to show you. This product lasts and looks amazing through anything. Never buying any other liner again. 
First off, we're so glad that Shelby is okay, and we definitely appreciate her sense of humor in posting this review. Also, we might need to stock up on some tattoo line. But seriously, we're glad she's safe and would love a winged eyeliner tutorial. And that wraps up this special edition of Beauty Star News. If you want to see even more videos like this, make sure you're staying up to date with us on social media. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and watch us on Roku and Amazon Fire. And most importantly, be sure to watch the all new season of American Beauty Star hosted by Ashley Graham, premiering January 2nd, 2019 on Lifetime and AmericanBeautyStar.com. I'm Asha Dyer and I'll see you next time.